Hi, I'm Matt, and in this video tutorial, we're looking at the Onion Amiga, and we're going to be looking at the three different ways we can get to the command line on the Onion Amiga. Now, why is this important? This is super important because it allows us to add in additional packages to our Onion Amiga, maybe like Python or Node.js or PHP, MySQL, SQLite, or any of the packages which are available. We ideally need access to the command line. And also in the next video tutorial, we are gonna be adding a USB drive to our system so that we're able to expand beyond the 16 megabytes of memory. And in this case, we're gonna have 32 gigs worth of drive space available on the board, which is about the size of my thumb, which is absolutely insane. So let's go and look at the three different options. Now, the first option, is really straightforward. So if you connect to your Onion Amiga via Wi-Fi, the first option is the most obvious one, but actually it's not my preferred option and it may not be yours either. And the first option to be able to get to a terminal is to use the terminal app, which comes with your Onion Amiga. So I've just been and clicked on the terminal app. We can log in as root. Now, if you haven't changed your password, it will be Onioneer, or in my case, I've changed it something a little bit more simple for these tutorials. And now we're able to get access to the command line. Now, that's option one. That's by far the easiest option, but it's not my preferred option. And it may not be yours because the reason why I don't like this option is because there isn't a simple copy and paste option here. So in the next video tutorial where we go off and we go and expand our file system out to 32 gigs as we're going to do with this USB drive. When it comes to the commands, we all like copy and paste because it's a lot simpler for us to do is that we would have to type the messages in here because the right click and paste option doesn't actually work in the console. Now, the two other options, we've got one easier and one not so easy. So we can connect to our Onion Amiga via either a COM port or via SSH. Now, to connect via SSH or the COM port, there's multitudes of tools available, but by far my favorite one is PuTTY. Underneath this video tutorial, I've been included a link to PuTTY for you. It's a free download. Just download the little app and pop it on your desktop. And as you'll see that I've already got mine up and running. Now you can type in the host name. So we already know that the IP address of our Onion Amiga is 192.168.3.1 and the port is 22. So if we now click on open, it will take a few moments for it to connect. Excellent, we're getting a message about the service host key not being cached. We're gonna click on yes and we can now type login. So we'll log in as root, enter your password, and excellent, we are now at the terminal or the command line. So that's option number two. That's the method we're actually gonna be using in the later tutorials. And the other option, maybe is a little bit more useful, maybe if you're using a Mac. Okay, now I'll show you this one just for completeness. It is actually really straightforward to do. Now, on your Windows system, do a search for device manager. Excellent, there's device manager. We'll open this up. Let me just expand this out for you a little bit. What you're looking for is the option called ports, com, and LPT. Expand this out and excellent. Can you see there's an option here called Silicon Labs, CP210, USB to UART, bridge, and then com28. That number on the end is what we're after. In my case, it's 28. It might be three, it might be 101 for you, but you're looking for the number on the end. So COM28. So let's close that down. Let's go and open PuTTY again. So let's go and create a new session. Now, this is where you would choose Serial, where it says COM, change that from COM1 to COM28. Now the speed is 115200. We've got serial selected on the right hand side, click on open, and we will then be able to connect to the device. Now if I press control C, excellent, press enter to activate this console, and excellent, we've been and got access to the console again. Now let me just put these side by side, like so. So we've got the console app, which comes with our Onion Amiga. It's great for just one liner, something you need to do really quickly, maybe via remote access. 
It's very, very simple. And again, it's built into the Onion Amiga. The negative point I would say for the inbuilt terminal is that you can't right click and paste commands. And it doesn't come in really handy when it comes to the next tutorial where we'll be expanding out our root file system using a USB drive. Because I'm sure you're just like me who likes copy and paste easy. And the other option is that we can connect to our Onion Amiga using one of the COM ports. And as we saw, we just press enter and then we've got the console available in front of us. So for myself, Matt, I sincerely hope this video tutorial has been and helps you. In the next video tutorial, we are going to be expanding our file system out to go way past that 16 megabytes of available RAM. We're, in our case, we're going to be boosting the hours out to 32 gig, which is a crazy amount of space for something which is the third of the size of a credit card. So I'll see you in the next video tutorial. So from myself, Matt, cheerios.